Hey, how you doing? So today what I'm going to talk about is the Foxwell uh, NT510 um, diagnostic tool. Um, it's, well I haven't tried it yet, but it looks pretty cool. The only problem is that when you buy it you do have to set up the software, so when you get it through the post um, you don't have the vehicle uh, software on it. So you do have to buy it, at, you don't have to buy it separately, you do have to load it separately. So it comes with um, a little micro SD or nano SD card inside. Uh, just plug that back in. And it also comes with a nano SD card reader. And uh, what I'll do is in the next steps I'll show you how to install the software onto your card, um, which should be easy, but it wasn't. Um, it was a bit of a pain on the backside, but I'll go into that as we go through the steps. So essentially there's four steps. You have to get a Foxwell ID, then you have to register your product, and you can either download or uh, just install from the CD the software, and then finally update the SD card. So the first step, you go to foxwelltech.com and register your details. And once you've done that, you'll get sent an email, and then you'll be able to log into the foxwelltech.com website. And then from there, you can click on uh, New Product, New Product Registration, and enter the details in these two boxes. Now, the information for these two boxes actually come off the machine itself, so you need to plug it in uh, via the USB cable or directly into your car and go to Setup, then About, and then you'll find the um, serial number and the password uh, on that screen. So once your product's registered, you can then start thinking about the software and updating the SD card that's in the machine itself. So I don't have a disk drive, so I can't uh, install it from uh, the disk that's supplied. So I had to download it straight from the website. So again, you go to foxwelltech.com and uh, go to product. And then you'll scroll down to find your actual machine. So it, in this case, it's the... Um, NT510 and then scroll down the page and you'll see uh, downloads and then on that screen then you can find either the manual or the software itself which is what we want so click on download and it'll start to download once it's downloaded just follow the instructions on how to install it it's extremely simple and you'll end up with a little icon on your desktop so at this stage what you want to do is pull the memory card out of the the machine and put it into the card reader and put the card reader into your laptop. So Foxwell only do um, software for Windows and not for Mac. Now I have a Mac, I only have Macs, but I do have virtual machines, so that's what I'm, what I'm doing here. And I had massive problems trying to get the SD card reader uh, to show up on the VM. Uh, in the end I had to download new drivers to get the, to get the VM to, to read it at all, um, so it took me hours to get that done, but if you're having problems seeing your um, card reader, then just have a look at the USB drivers and see if that resolves the issue. So once you're at this stage, you're flying now. So all you need to do is select the manufacturer you want to install onto your machine. So in my case, it's Land Rover, and it's actually Land Rover Jaguar as well. And then click on Update, and then it'll start to download the software and then install it onto the SD card. It takes a few minutes for this to happen, so I've just speeded up the film just to make it a bit quicker. Once this is completed, you're done. You can take the SD card out of your machine and put it back into the Foxwell diagnostic tool and give it a go. So I'm going to plug it into my Defender and into my Discovery 4 and see what it's like to use. So if you want to see that, just subscribe and watch the next video. If you like this, then please subscribe and there'll be more videos about Defenders and Discoveries and Minis and MGs and VWs and everything else I've got in the garages. So yeah, subscribe, like and I'll speak to you soon.